Guten Morgen. Met up with my friend Mitch and we are in Athens, Greece. It is 8 a.m. and we're on a mission to find some brekkie. Ain't that right, Mitchell? Hotel's cool. Um, it's actually really nice here. We're right down from the Acropolis. So, pretty sweet. Um, plan today is to do some touring around, see the sights. Okay. We out here. Acropolis. Completely out of breath. <laughs> A hill. And I gotta pee like crazy. This is super insane. So we're at the Acropolis. I didn't even know this bit was here. But we just walked up from down there. You can see the museum, that building. Came up this way and then just sort of stumbled into this, which is insane. Like super old amphitheater. Obviously the um, seating's all new on the floor down there, but it's still pretty wild with like a crazy view of the city. So we are on our way up now and uh, we're gonna make it up to the Acropolis there, but just checking out the sights for now. in family photos of my step family when they went on vacation so I've seen it before but it's pretty wild being like at the top of this mountain hill it's just insane like coming through here and like the view I'm enamored with it's just like crazy like a hotel is down there somewhere in just a sea of, like, oh, actually that's our hotel right, uh, where is it, the long building, there. Oh, cats. So we're walking through uh, some, like, shopping area. Mitch bought a bunch of silver coins and, like, haggled on the price. This is so bright. Um, and so we're just walking around with the cab. He, like, told us that this is, like, a dangerous area. And, like, you know, keep your phone in your front pocket or some kid will snatch it from you and run away. And so, <laughs> a little sketchy, but, it's like, Christmas market. It's wild down here. Really wild. Did a little bit of a walkabout. Uh, stopped at a restaurant. Rooftop. Stay. Uh, yeah, just did a bit of a walkabout. We're up at the Acropolis, jumped in a cab, came down here, and uh, went to a little shopping area that was kind of sketchy. Um, but Mitch got like five uh, silver coins that were, he paid 50 euros and we were just looking up like just the cost of silver. So we basically made like a bit of money just on that, but we'll see what the dates and stuff are like. But just wanted to share my view right now. My phone keeps making everything so bright, but there's the Acropolis on this like little rooftop garden. It's cool. 
There we go, I finally figured it out. Figured out my lighting situation. Uh, it's funny, as a tourist, when you just walk around, you end up in the tourist areas. Um, and that's where we are. So, there's TGI Fridays there. <laughs> H&M. Crazy. This church is cool though. Uh, what way do you want to go? Acropolis is there. This way? Yeah, this way. We'll sort of work our way around. We always count. Gas store. This really feels like uh, Puerto Vallarta. Or no, Playa del Carmen. I like this store, they have it in Prague too. There's a uh, Southeast Asian Orient. They, uh, they call it the Banana Pancake Trail. Because everywhere you go, you can get a banana pancake. Kind of like in Europe, where you can get a crepe everywhere. Yeah. Banana Pancake Trail. You could do like a, what's that called? Like a pub hop or like pub a crawl? pub crawl, but for banana. Pancake. Pancake. It's busy down here. Good morning. Uh, it's just like. Wait, hold on. It's like 9 a.m. I think. 9. 9, yeah. We uh, had a chill night last night. Went to bed somewhat early. I've had like a headache since I got here. Um, and then Mitch is on Canada time, jet lag, so, um, basically went to bed like 7 o'clock last night. Mitch passed out. I watched a couple movies and hung up. Um, woke up this morning, Mitch was up early. I slept in a little bit, so I was up at like 7, 7.30. Um, but we are grabbing some breakfast and uh, going to the beach today. It's not the nicest day. It's a little bit uh, overcast and cloudy, but it's warm. Um, so that's the plan. It's actually really nice down here. Our hotel's in kind of a cool area. Lots of orange trees kicking around, which is, I don't know, super cool to me walk down the street and like pick an orange off a tree like, tons of them in that one and they're all like ripe right now which is cool but we're gonna walk for a bit and then um, take an uber the rest of the way after breakfast I guess hang out by the beach should be fun Alright, so uh, we got dropped off down there and kind of just walked all the way around and then walked up this hill to where we're at now. Super nice view though. Like the whole bunch of the city there. The sea. It's cool. Where to next? So we are down some shopping district, I have no idea where, we're by like where the ferries go, um, 
cool down here. Lots of little barber shops and stuff, which I really like to see. Um, there's one just up the street here. It's like a two chair barber shop. There's a couple single chair barber shops, which is kind of inspiring me to sort of think about, you know, my own little shop eventually. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Anyways, we found a, a spot to do um, pedicures at. There was a barber shop just down the street behind me that does male pedicures and they were slamming busy. It was like a gentleman shop. It looked really nice. It's really skinny, but like two sort of levels. I think like four or five barbers working in there. Um, and the lady was super sweet. She got us hooked up with this place next door that does pedicures. Um, so we're gonna try and uh, see. I always wonder what those trucks are saying. They have like a megaphone on them. They just talk. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go get some pedicures and then uh, probably find a place to go uh, tonight or later. Um, but yeah, it's been cool. This area is really nice. Well, we're just for the gardens, aren't we? <laughs> we're uh, walking back to the hotel. A little bit of a track, but it's nice. We found some little tiny streets, little pocket views everywhere you go. But it's really cool down here. It's pretty wild too, like the train station is like stories underground. There's trains going on top of trains. Pretty sweet. But uh, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do tonight. Either the Rippers or <laughs> something else, I don't know yet. But uh, for now, just walking around a little bit more. I really like this area. And there's the Acropolis. Good morning. We had a little bit of a late night last night. I was all hopped up on caffeine and Mitch had a couple beverages. And uh, now we're out for breakfast. It's like 9.30, 10 a.m. And I think the plan for the day is a theme park, right? Yeah. So, have some breakfast and then, uh... It opens at 5, you said? Yeah, so you can do some sightseeing before that. I kind of want to stop at the hotel before we go anywhere, because it's warm out. And I don't really have this. <coughs> but, a little coffee. Nice little corner view. Super nice out. Like t-shirt weather today. I think it said it's supposed to be like 19 today. Something like that. So the only downfall is cafes on a hill. Yeah. <laughs> Sloping into the street. He's like, you're fucking cheating again. <laughs> Mitch and I just crushed a cold plunge in the pool. He did better than me. I got my head in, but I couldn't stay in there very long. The pool here is like 10 degrees. Fucking hell. My feet hurt. He went in like three times. Just couldn't do it. But it was fun. And uh, I think we're off to a theme park this afternoon, but we're gonna grab some lunch first. The theme park doesn't open till like five. So uh, it should be fun. Hopefully uh, it's open and we can do some like roller coasters and 
shit like that. So we shall see. But for now, just chilling by the pool, hanging out. It's nice out. It's like 18 degrees. Way better than Prague or Calgary. So enjoying our stay. Mitch's last full day here. Total tourists. <laughs> Look at us go. We're at uh, this fun park. And we got our ride map and some bracelets to go try a bunch of shit. Like tires on. Um, we uh, just did a bunch of rides that'll come up behind me here. Um, so we did, uh, they're kind of through the trees there, the two at the bottom. We're gonna do the swing after. Um, but we wanted to see the view from the Ferris wheel. Uh, way in the distance there, you can see it. The Acropolis there. Where our hotel is. It's really cool from up here. We're just going up. Oh, that's so high. Like you fall, you're dead. For sure. It's actually kind of sketchy. I'm afraid of heights. Oh my god, that's so hot. Holy shit. Just had a really uh, good experience at a barber shop. It's a really cool barbershop, kind of tight, pretty crammed. There were uh, four barbers in this little shop. I just went and got my beard trimmed because it was driving me nuts. And it looked horrendous. So a little bit of a fade and uh, it was five euros, which is super cheap. It was, I was actually shocked that that's what they charged and it was a really cool barbershop. The guys were really nice and told them I was a barber and then they were all curious about what we charged and like how long I've been doing it and stuff so it was really cool but uh yeah had a really good time there decided to keep my mustache all curly and wild so yeah it was sweet really enjoyed it I would definitely recommend that barbershop unfortunately the name is in Greek uh, so I'm gonna find them on Instagram and post their um, name but yeah, it was really cool. Good experience. Feeling good. Um, there's a cool bar by the hostel as well that uh, I uh, went and got a mocktail at. So I might go back there a little bit later, but I'm going to shower because I'm sweating. Um, but yeah, really cool. Enjoying my time here. Um, keeping myself busy without, uh, without Mitch around. But I might go peek into the store quick, so... Catch you on the flip. Another uh, beauty morning in Greece. Um, just woke up and I'm trying, I'm like waiting for my flight check in because um, it should be tomorrow. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Go through my emails and my flights are all in check so I can't read them, of course. Uh, so I send it to Ollie and she goes, Oh, your flight's on Monday. Wow. So I had to pay for another night at the hostel, which isn't bad because they have my own room and stuff, and I actually really like staying here. Um, but the outside, like right out here, is really ghetto, so it's like almost like East Hastings vibe. It's a graffiti, garbage pulled out of, um, you know, like broken windows. Like last night, I walked by in this dumpster that these dudes are cleaning up at the end here. There was like garbage all in the road. It looks nicer during the daytime, but anyways, I got a free breakfast that I can go. Well, it's four euros for breakfast at the hostel. So I'm gonna do that and then I guess go for a walk. We'll see what's over in this area. But uh yeah, excited. I also have to do laundry, and they do a laundry service here for seven euros, so I'm penny pinching today, but we'll make it work.
All right, I'm here for my last uh, morning, or last day, I guess. I uh, decided to sleep in a little bit because I have to be at the airport at like 4 a.m. Um, and I think there's a shuttle that leaves from the hostel at 3.45, so I'm gonna see if I can take that. Hopefully that works out because if I miss this flight, I'm screwed. Um, but I don't know, either that or a cab, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but I think for the um, uh, shuttle bus is like 15 euro, whereas a cab is like 55 if I go at nighttime. So I'm thinking, uh, thinking I'll just do the, the shuttle bus if I can. Anyways, just stopped at this place to grab some breakfast. Nice out, sort of like drizzled a little bit, but it's okay. And uh, have a little sweet tooth this morning, so I'm gonna get a um, French toast and a cappuccino. And then I'll probably head back to the hotel and do some tidying, pack my shit. I might go for like a little bit of a walk, but really today is kind of just like calm after Mitch left I've just been pretty chill ready to get back home um, unfortunately it's snowing in Prague right now which blows but it is what it is um, yeah so that's the day I'm in this really nice area here it's not far from where my um, where my hostel is, but it's in like a nicer area, which is cool. Like it's straight down the street. It's sort of like Gastown and East Hastings. Like I'm staying in East Hastings and I walk down to Gastown. Like that's what it feels like. So it's nice. But there's like little cappuccinos here. Thank you. One of the things that I do really like about here is they bring you your bill right away in like a little shot glass but a bit of sugar coffee here is really good also but yeah I'm really not looking forward to going back to like the horrible fucking weather it's like snowing there right now and just shit and I don't do well in the winter. I don't even like, really own a winter coat. So. Nice. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I will maybe take you on a little bit more of a tour today if I uh, find something cool to film, but like I said in a previous clip, it's a little bit sketchy to have your phone out. Uh, you don't want it to get snatched. Like it's literally like in my fingertips right now because I don't want somebody to grab it off the table and dip. Um, but yeah, so I will uh, catch you later. Hi, kitty. Sweetie. Uh, I'm just gonna start this over because it didn't um, record. But uh, I'm just walking back to the hostel now and I just wanted to sort of show how quickly things can change. Like I was in like a really nice area over here. Zoom in for a sec, there. And as I walk straight down the street, the graffiti gets crazy and the, you can definitely see the changes, but it's, uh, it's kind of sketchy. Like I gotta hang on to my phone and keep my wits about me because I don't need some person jacking my phone out of my hand. One of my favorite things are all these orange trees that are fucking everywhere. You can just pick oranges right off of them. If I lived here, I would make juice every single morning. Nice little restaurant here. But as I get kind of down to the end of the street, it starts to change, like abandoned building, lots of 
graffiti and stuff. It gets a little nasty down here. Ugh. Fuck, it's warm out. Super nice. This is probably the nicest day we've had since I've been here. Like, just sun, bluebird skies. It's got to be like 19. I'm not looking forward to going back to Prague to, you know, minus. I think it's like minus five right now or something. Snowing. Fuck. Prague in the winter is just as de depressing as Vancouver. Like, it's gray, cold. Gray with snow is worse than just gray. But... Okay, that's where I'm at. Just hang on to my phone a little bit tighter. Lower my hand to touch as well so people don't know that I'm filming. But when I came down here, first time the cab driver was like put your phone in your front pocket don't have it out people will try to rob you if they see it he's like little kids will steal it out of your off your table or out of your pocket if it's in your back pocket and then they'll just take off <clears throat> it's kind of an interesting place Hoping the audio picks up, but like this area fucking stinks. It's dirty. Just across here. say the produce here looks fucking awesome. It's like super nice produce, which is, I guess it makes sense, like everything here is, uh, uh, like I was staring at me. Everything here is, you know, it's Mediterranean, so everything grows really nice. Lots of, you know, good fruits and vegetables and shit. But, you know, People staring at me. But here's my hostel. At nighttime, it gets really nasty down here. It is a mess, but uh, yeah. Whew. So just sitting here editing that video. Um, it is what it is. It's kind of just like a medley of footage from uh, my trip to Greece. Uh, it's been sitting on my phone for like the last eight months or what, since December, so. Um, I just really, I don't know, I just didn't feel like editing it for some reason. Um, just starting to now, it'll be like whatever, there's some clips that are drawn out and some clips that are kind of dumb, whatever. Um, but just a uh, kind of interesting little video that I did. Um, Greece was cool. 
uh, I would definitely go back, but um, yeah. A lot has changed since uh, that video was filmed. Um, we moved to Canada, Ollie and I. Um, we got a dog. Um, we're currently living on the west coast of Canada on Vancouver Island. Um, yeah, still sober, still haven't drank. We're coming up on a year. Um, we got a dog. This is Floki, he's our baby. Uh, we got a nice apartment, we're both working full time. Ollie got a uh, job tattooing full time and I work at a barber shop. Um, yeah, sorry I just woke you up, I know I'm so sorry. Um, but anyways, that's, uh, that's the video. I hope to film some more adventures on the island, talk about the cost of living here and uh yeah we haven't really been doing too much uh i've got a week vacation right now so hopefully i'll film something um i'd like to start posting my brother and i have talked about uh making a video or a channel together um but who knows we might not even be on vancouver island by next year we have no idea the cost of living in canada is so crazy right now that it's uh hard for us to afford anything so um yeah but uh hope you enjoyed the video and uh look forward to some new content coming out soon hopefully i get off my lazy ass and make some but uh appreciate it and i'll check you later